Very few people are allowed inside the courtroom because of the pandemic. But today, our Lauren Lemanchik had a seat inside and she shared her observations. What are your overall impressions, Lauren, of what it's like to be in that room? Well, Julie, it is so different to be in there. And primarily the difference is that you get to see the jurors reactions and how they're interacting with the witnesses. There was a really key moment where Dr. Tobin, one of the state's experts, was asking the jurors to touch their necks, to feel some of the things that he was talking about, and they all did it. And that was a way you could tell how engaged they are. Another thing that really struck me today, even though I knew that the Floyd family has only one seat in the courtroom, to see the family members rotating in and out of that seat and know that when this really emotional video is being played, they don't have someone there to reach over and hold their hand. They are by themselves on one chair in the corner. And so to see that was just a really interesting and a really different feel. And it was something that was played and replayed today in the courtroom because of the medical testimony about the moment that George Floyd died. Uh, were they watching the video? Were they looking at the jurors, looking down? How did the family members throughout the day react? So the family members did not watch the video. Um, they, they mostly just stared straight ahead. There was a young woman, George Floyd's niece, who was there in the afternoon who, who broke down crying when she watched it because imagine seeing your loved one's last moments just over and over and over again. I'm wondering if you observed Mr. Chauvin at all. I know that because of COVID and the way the courtroom is set up, he's facing the jury, they're facing them. Did they make much eye contact? Does he appear to have much reaction to anything that's happening? It's hard to tell if they're really making eye contact contact with one another um, and it's also hard to tell his reaction partially because of that mask. What I did notice is when they played those videos he watched on the monitor. He didn't turn away from it. He says very little but he's writing almost constantly. If you could describe this for all of us um, what your day was like inside that courtroom. How would you describe it? Just to be in there in this historic moment for Minneapolis and Minnesota and to see these people in person, see the jurors, see the Floyd family and see Derek Chauvin was was really a unique experience. Our live gavel to gavel coverage picks up back up when court is in session tomorrow morning. Rena and Lou will be joined by experts to dive into everything happening inside the courtroom. You can also follow along on our digital platforms.